Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at a pen for which I have received a couple of review requests. And Frank from Fonto Pluma was kind enough to provide me with this pen. If you like this pen, use Sbiery Brown on his website, fontoplumo.nl, or Sbiery Brown 2 if you are a returning customer, and then you get a discount. Alright, so this is a, a special version of this pen. Simple, uh, simple packaging, cardboard. Lamy does not really uh, waste a lot of money on their packaging, I think. And this specific pen is interesting because it is the cliff grey finish. There's also a nut brown finish, and these are special finishes. Here's the pen. The pen is slim. It's a slim pen, and some people really love that. I'm not an enormously big fan of that, but it's all a matter of preference. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, top of the cap. Here you see the finial, and I had a, a, um, a mechanical pencil that had the same thing. I wonder if that was a, a logo as well. Um, the clip is spring-loaded, which I always enjoy. Uh, there is Lamy on the uh, cap there, and then it's still stickered. And you have the barrel, the barrel is very sleek. You have a little bit of texture there, and at the end you have these vent holes, which I think are to are to aid posting. The cap clip clicks off. Then you have this this section, as I said, with the texture, and then you have the nib. Now you may know these nibs. These are Lamy Safari nibs. Here we have a Lamy Safari. This should also give you an idea of the size of this pen. It, it really isn't big and it's definitely not girthy. Barrel. Uh, the pen currently has nothing in it, but it will take Lamy cartridges or a Lamy converter. Alright, so as I said, a Lamy uh, Safari nib, you can put that on, or you can get a, a studio nib, which are gold nibs, and you can put those on extra fine all the way to broad, and then 1.1, 1.5, and 1.9 millimeter italics. So you can expand on the range of use of your pen by getting different nibs, which are, especially the steel ones, are not extremely expensive. So it's a nice way to customize your pen. All right, section, as you can see, this is not a, a giant pen, especially girth-wise, but if you want, you can post it, and then it becomes very long. It's more so long than anything else, I would say. And that seems to be emphasized a bit by its, its sleekness, I think. All right, they have the pen. A simple model, uh, a nice model. This model would set you back about 35 euros. Uh, and I think that makes it a, a, an interesting pen for people who enjoy the Safari but want something else, or people who like the idea of these nibs but they don't like the Safari section. Some people really hate these, these pre-shaped sections, and uh, the logo does not have that. Also, I've, I've received a couple of complaints of people who said that they find the Safari section just too thick. I think then you may also enjoy the uh, logo. All right. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, there are a few things that I like. Uh, I definitely uh, like that the clip is spring-loaded. It's always useful. It makes it easy to put it in a, um, a shirt pocket, for example, uh, without ripping out your entire pocket when you take it out. And also, you can operate that spring on the back here. You cannot always do that, I found, so this is a neat, neat design. Um, I like the fact that the section is kind of visible when you cap the pen. You can still see this, uh, call it knurled, uh, ribbed is a better uh, word, I guess, uh, this, this ribbed part. You can see it when you cap the pen. That makes for a visually appealing pen, because the cap and the barrel are completely even and smooth, so this is a nice, nice touch. I like that. Um, there are also a few things... Now, final thing I'll say, I like the nibs. I like the fact that you can just change nibs. Uh, that makes for a very nice and modular system. There are also things I don't like so much. Uh, one of them is th the general design of the pen. Now, that is nitpicking, because if you don't like sleek pens, you shouldn't get a sleek pen. But it really is skinny. Uh, this, this is not a big pen, um, and in that regard, I don't really like it. I like girthier pens. Personal preference. Other things I don't like so much. I am really not too sure about this design at the end of the barrel. Uh, I, I think it is meant to make this 
cap post more securely. You can even see perhaps these very small lips at the end there, which are definitely meant to keep the cap in place and not make it slip over the barrel. But I'm not sure if I really like the looks. To me it looks like it's either broken or not finished adequately. Also, I wonder if for such a sleek and light pen, it would not be better if you could post the cap more deeply. Because now this looks ridiculously long. Would it post up to, say, this point? I think you would, ex you would extend the pen a little bit, add a little bit of weight because of the cap, metal clip, etc. I think that will make for a slightly more pleasant writing experience. Now, having said all of that, not an ultra cheap pen, but not an extremely expensive pen either, I think it definitely has some things going for it. Let's see how it writes, but first of all, a couple of statistics. The weight in all is about 18 grams, the cap weighs 2 grams, and the body weighs 16 grams. Um, Capped, it has a length of 135.5 millimeters, that's 5.33 inches. Uncapped, it's 116.8 millimeters or 4.6 inches. Uh, the barrel diameter uh, is about 9.4 millimeters, that is 0.37 inches, and the same thing goes for the barrel. Barrel and section, uh, I think, yeah, sorry, I meant section, uh, it's a pretty uniform pen, right? Let's see how it writes. Funk, thanks for sending me the pen. Uh, one thing, I'll be giving this pen away. If you want to enter, go to my website, leave a comment on this post. All right, sbrebrown.com, leave a comment, winner will be randomly drawn, etc. Good luck. Let's look, how, look at how it writes. Hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Lamy logo. The nib is medium and the ink is Pelican Royal Blue. This is a pleasant nib, smooth, good flow. If you hear a lot of feedback, Bear in mind that the camera microphone typically picks that up, because I'm getting some feedback, but it's really not a scratchy nib. A bit of fast writing. No skips. Keeps up very, very well. That's very pleasant. Okay, a bit of testing for the wetness. Not the wettest ink in the world, but even so, you can clearly see that this is not a super dry nib. Usually you can squeeze out a little bit of line variation with these safari style nibs, but it's not a, a stellar flex nib or anything. Now, for those of you who enjoy it, reverse writing, this is scratchy, but you turn a medium nib into, I would say, extra fine. Okay. Thanks a lot to Frank at fontoplumo.nl uh, If you want to win this pen, go to my website sbrebrown.com, leave a comment and uh, maybe you'll win. Hope this was useful and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye.